I don't sing. <laughs> but I love this book. I love this book. I can remember I had some Church of God cousins that came to vacation Bible school one year to our little independent Baptist church. And they told me, they said, you've got our book. And I said, do what? They said, you got our book. We printed that. See, it says Pathway Press, Cleveland, Tennessee. And I love this book so much that I was afraid that if our independent Baptist pastor found out we had a Church of God book in the church... So I went and got every one of our 52 hymnals and I pulled that page out of the front that said it was printed in Cleveland, Tennessee so, so we could sing songs that I think are going to be singing in heaven that's found in the Red Back Church hymnal. Are you playing for me? Good luck. All right. You have been sitting a while. Since I don't sing, you're going to sing for me, okay? So everyone stand. Turn to page 346. I know my name is there. Can somebody say amen? amen. Am I supposed to stand up here? How y'all doing? All right, Church of God people, let's sing it. Here we go. 346. you're singing that your name is in the Lamb's Book of Life? All right, here we go on the second. Now we're going to sing the second like saved people, all right? Here we go. Here on the second like saved people. moment, I got to say this, because three years ago, I was battling the biggest part of depression that you could ever encounter, and you've heard of being on rock bottom, well, rock bottom would have been an elevated surface for me, and it took four pastors, and it took a doctor, and it took a counselor just to get me back to where I could even get out of bed and, and stand up because of decisions I made, and during that moment, and during that time, I was even starting to doubt whether God even loved me. Some people wanted me dead, and I was one of them. And I just thought, what am I going to do, God? I just don't even know that you even want me anymore for all my past mistakes and all the decisions that I made in my life. 
And right in the middle of one of our sessions, I was sitting there and I turned to Ephesians chapter number 4, verse number 30, where God says that He has me sealed until the day of redemption. And when I was sitting there that day, God took my mind back to when I was 8 years old and I sat to Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. And during that moment, He took me back to the book of life and He said, Mickey, what do you see right there? And I said, God, I see my name in that book. He said, well, let me tell you something. I didn't write it with a pencil and I didn't write it with a erasable ink. I wrote it with the blood of Jesus and there's not a devil in hell that can take your name off this book because they've got to go through the blood to get the book. And if a devil goes through the blood, he becomes a saved devil. Somebody say amen. And then I had some independent pastors that would always say this. I know that 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 I know I don't think you hear me that I know, that I know, that I know, that I know, that I know. Obama may take everything away from him, but he can't take away my salvation because Jesus Christ has put my name in the book and nobody can erase it. Amen. Let's sing the third. Yeah. Come on now. 